welcome to just another maker channel. Hey guys, in a previous video I tried running this brushless DC motor but it got far too hot. So in this video I'm going to see if I can cool things down a little. I've purchased this small heatsink and fan and what really drew me in, aside from the price, was the fact that it's a super fan. It's a ball fan and it has super heat dissipation. Life is more than three times that of ordinary fans, so I don't know why they even bother making them. Here I've plotted the results of the motor temperature from the last video. Bear in mind here that the fan wasn't running continuously either, it was only on for 6 out of every 7 seconds, which is about an 86% duty cycle. Unfortunately I didn't start the test at ambient temperature, so I've had to extrapolate those figures based on the line of the graph. The biggest problem with running motors at such high temperatures is potential to damage the magnets. Here I have my new super fan connected up to 5 volts and we can see that it pulls about 0.8 watts. For each of these new tests I'm going to be running the brushless motor for 5 minutes continuously. Unfortunately the super fan wasn't so super and I had to cut the test short, didn't quite make the full 5 minutes because the temperature rise was getting too high. Nonetheless it still outperformed no fan at all. I couldn't see anything on the product listing that said the fan was only rated at 5 volts, so I decided to give it a go at 12 volts. The fan was now pulling over 4 watts of power, which is more than a 5 times increase. things were definitely taking a step in the right direction on this test. Again, this test wasn't started at ambient temperature either, so I've had to extrapolate those figures too. But we can see a moderate improvement over the fan running at 5 volts. Since I've been running the fan at 12 volts, I thought why not take it off and see if there's any manufacturer information on the back. Luckily there was, and to my surprise, the fan was actually rated at 12 volts. Having realised the fan was perfect for my needs, I decided to reassemble it and consider using some thermal paste. I've chosen this thermal paste from BSFF, that well-known, loved household brand. One of the things that really drew me in was the fact it said it was better than liquid metal. It then goes on to say that it has excellent performance in contrast to metal and silicon thermal conductive adhesives, but then also says it's silicon based. After it arrived, I then discovered that BSFF stands for Best Seller For Forever. I mean, who wouldn't choose that company name? I ordered 5.5 grams because I wasn't sure how much I'd need, but the sticker on the back seemed to be suspicious. Despite originally saying 1.8 grams on the back, it actually did say 5.5 grams on the tube. I then decided to apply the perfect amount of thermal paste for this application and fit it to the motor. You may notice that my cheap power supply is missing from this clip and that's because I've managed to find my fancy benchtop power supply which I'm going to use from now on. Surprisingly the thermal paste did make quite a difference with around a 10 degree temperature drop compared to no thermal paste. What could be better than one fan you say? Well two super fans. So I bought another one. 
but unfortunately they won't both fit together, so I have to make some modifications. For some reason here I couldn't find the body of my hacksaw, so I just had to use the blade. In order to secure the two heat sinks to the motor, I 3D printed a few parts. Now I just snap my 3D printed clips in place. Now having redesigned these clips, I'm going to test them. Everything looks good so it's time to apply the perfect amount of thermal paste. The clips seem like a really strong fit. Now it's time for the final test. Both fans with thermal paste running at 12 volts. Once again I didn't start the test quite at ambient temperature so I've had to extrapolate a few figures but we can clearly see this is the winner. In contrast to the other tests the temperature rise actually levels off so I'm confident I could run the motor for a long time like this. Thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next one.